I've been living in Australia for 12 years since 2004 and um, I studied in UQ and after graduating I uh, started to work in Brisbane um, yet at the same time I also serve uh, in our local church for Brisbane working in Singapore uh, for some years and then I finally had an opportunity to study my master's in UQ um, and being accepted to UQ itself was quite a, quite a miracle. So at that time we were first connected um, with each other through through a mutual friend Timothy via Facebook he linked us up the both of us up right? and uh, I had so many questions I remember I had questions about how Brisbane was like how UQ was like and how I mean like living in Australia was like and, and we communicated quite a bit via Facebook Messenger mm. right but I think we only met each other um, at Project Sparkle which was this uh, annual community project that's um, from the Singapore Church um, to bless the uh, community by cleaning the flats of um, the residents around the area. So I actually went back for a short holiday in 2014 and uh, I was also involved in our church project Sparkle and on that day when I was in the uh, church foyer to meet up with the group uh, I bumped into some of my old friends and then I noticed So I, I was actually trying to catch her attention by making eye contact with her <laughs> uh, but she was just on the phone and uh, <laughs> I was looking away uh, So my, my friend uh, told me that she is really Caris who is actually going to study in Brisbane um, and after that we, we just had a short introduction um, just to you know, get to know all each other Talking about Gabriel's qualities and strengths, right? So I noticed that Gabriel has this adventurous streak in him. So he likes to disguise possibilities and dreams, um, and is really not daunted by limitations or setbacks. So he would we would discuss often um, about um, his dream to really just uh, uh, go around the world and then helping people, and I find that like very attractive. And Gabriel is also very generous in his giving, um, to the point that it's very sacrificial in how he usually uh, fetches people um, from one place to another using his car and just you know giving in terms of financially as well to other people. I think it really really blesses my heart. I like that you are a very caring person. You care about different people and not just only um, on the big things but also on the small things as well you notice every individual in detail uh, what are the needs in their life what are they lack of you listen to them you hear them you spend time with them so um, I can also see that you you also help me with planning as well because you like to plan ahead, <laughs> you like to plan a lot, you like to plan in detail, you are very careful um, in your planning. Mm. More careful than me, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> was a particularly tough time for the both of us because you just came back so you were transiting uh, to Singapore after 12 years in Brisbane mm. and then you were waiting on uh, God for a job as well and I remember that during that period I was also very tired by things around me uh, and I kept complaining. I think one thing that um, I learned from you is that you continue to remain patient and hopeful and very loving also and I think that was the period of time where I realized that oh you are the right person to be with and that you taught me how to be patient and hopeful also. When I came back to Singapore, uh, there were a lot of uh, opportunities to spend time together, uh, to know about each other as well. 
However, um, you know, I discovered a lot of uh, differences that we had, our preferences, our personalities, and the way that we do things. But thankfully, our friends around us taught us about how we can appreciate and accommodating each other's differences. Mm. So I learned to see our relationship in the big picture that God has designed. Mm. And over a period of time, I began to discover Carrie's strengths. Mm. She has a spirit of excellence mm. and is very eager to help me to be the best. And I can also be able to find out how can how I can be able to serve her as well. So this is our wedding verse, it's from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11. It says that God has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Gabriel and I are believers of this verse and we really cling on to this verse very strongly because we see how God actualized this in our lives, how God brought us together in His perfect timing. But there is also this deeper meaning that while God has made things beautiful and made things fall in place for us, things in the world are pretty transient, they don't quite last, but He has placed eternity in the hearts of men to pursue something more than the trivial things of the world. It's a reminder for our marriage that yes, we love each other and we have this beautiful union together but we don't just have eyes for each other and then focus on the usual household affairs. There's actually a greater purpose that spans eternity and that is to uncover the glory of God. And that's really the exciting part, to run side by side with our eyes fixated on eternity. We believe that it is a lifelong journey together. I don't think that I have fully known Carries. There will still be more challenges in our lives. But God has been helping us to discover more about each other in His timing and season. We believe that God has designed marriage to glorify Him and we want to enjoy the time and the journey together to discover what God has for us, to serve Him and to give Him the glory.